One of the things that happens this time of the year with such temperature extremes is something called ice damming. And you're like, who the hell cares about ice damming? Well, here's why it could be potentially a concern for you because there's a couple reasons why an ice dam forms, but more importantly, the reason it could be a concern is simply because it's gonna be a massive leak inside of your house right above where it forms. Because what an ice dam is, is it's, is it's ice that's pushing back up underneath your shingles as snow and ice melt down off your roof, it's gonna hit the overhangs on your home, it's gonna then refreeze, and once it builds a dam up, it's gonna start to push its way back up underneath your shingles. And this is one of the more challenging things that we experience here, in, uh, especially in central Indiana in the January, February, sometimes even March months, when we get a lot of that snow that sits on a roof, it melts and then it refreezes, creates all kinds of challenges. So number one reason why an ice dam forms, if you think about it is, you know, especially in the winter months, you've got the heaters running, you got everything in your house, trying to stay as warm as possible, well, if you don't have enough insulation in your house, you're gonna be losing that warm air, and that warm air is gonna melt the snow on top of your roof. Well, if the snow is melting on top, but it's still freezing outside, that water's gonna run down your roof, then ultimately, once it hits the gutter line, it's gonna refreeze, starting to form that ice dam. Okay, another thing that we can do to really help prevent an ice dam from forming is make sure that we have proper ventilation for your roof. Okay, making sure that we get any warm, moist air out in the wintertime, getting excessive heat out in the summertime is gonna be one of the main components to helping prevent ice dams from forming to begin with. So having proper insulation in your home, having proper ventilation for your roofing system are the two key things that you can do to help prevent an ice dam from getting back into your house, causing a big, big problem. Problem. Now, certainly you don't want to have to replace your roof to prevent an ice dam from forming, but when we do replace a roof, one of the things that we at Roofco do every single time is we install an ice and water shield barrier on your on your, your gutter line. This is a more aggressive membrane that actually seals down to the roof decking and actually, in essence, waterproofs that section of the roof. And what we do is we install that ice and water shield barrier three foot up from the gutter line, but really it needs to go three foot up from the space where the conditioned living space starts. So a lot of times the contractors will start just doing one row of ice and water shield, and oftentimes that's sufficient. But if you've got a long overhang on your home, then that oftentimes means we have to add another row of ice and water shield to offset where that conditioned living space begins. So that's a little information on why ice dams form, a couple things that you can do to alleviate them. But if there's anything that we at Roofco can do to help you out and answer any questions about either the insulation or ventilation systems of your roof to help prevent this, let us know. We'll be happy to help. Drop a comment below. Let us know if there's anything else that you need from us and we're here to help. Thanks so much, everybody. This is Ryan from Roofco.